right, let's talk about what it means to write from a prompt. <clears throat> Sometimes when we're doing our writing, you get to do a free write and you can write whatever you want. Sometimes when we're doing our writing, I have a very specific thing that you need to do. And that's kind of like writing from a prompt. In writing from a prompt, you still get to choose what you write about to a certain extent, but not completely. So a writing prompt tells you what to write about. It gives you your main idea or topic. And then from there, you get to decide um, which way you go with it. So let's read the prompt for today and figure out what it is that you need to be writing about. This is writing prompt. Describe what career you would like to have when you are an adult. Make sure to describe how you will achieve this goal and what you think it will be like to do this work every day. So in today's writing, you need to have at least a half a page, a full page would be better, about basically what you want to be when you grow up. That's why you have uh, the reading on the next page that you have. So let's break this down. It says, describe what career you would like to have when you are an adult. The word career is a fancy word for job. So what job do you want to do when you get older? And this says when you're an adult. So think about that. You have quite a few years before you get to be an adult. But what kinds of things are you working towards? What do you want to do with your life when you get older? And then it says make sure to describe. There's that word again. We used it up here too. What does describe mean? Describe means you're giving details. You're painting a picture in your reader's mind, just like we were doing last week. You're trying to make them see what it is that you see when you think about this. So make sure to describe how you will achieve this goal. What does the word achieve mean? Achieve means how are you planning on getting there? What do you have to do to be in this job or to do this career? How will you achieve this goal? The goal is your career. And what you th and you're also describing what you think it will be like to do this work every day. So if you've picked a job that you truly love and that you know you're going to be good at, it won't feel like work. So describe to your reader what you think it will be like to get to do this career every single day. For me, I've wanted to be a teacher since as long as I can remember. I can vividly remember in the fourth grade our teacher asked us the same question, and she and I told her, I'm going to be a teacher. She says, why do you want to be a teacher? I said, because I can't imagine life without school. I can't imagine not being in school and learning. And I honestly still feel that way today. I love everything about school. It makes me a happy person. So if I was going to describe what career I would like to have when I'm an adult, I would be describing being a teacher. I would probably say, <clears throat> I'm going to give you some ideas about what to write about. So I'm going to, I'm going to would probably say something along the lines of uh, what I want to be. I would put what I want to be. I would put why I want to do that. I would also write about um, maybe what inspired me to want to do that or what I think it would feel like to do that. Okay, so what do I want to be? Why do I want to do that? And then I need to make sure I describe how I want to achieve my goal. So how do I get there? And it can't just be one sentence, I'm going to go to college. That's not very descriptive. What do you think you might need to study while you're in college? What do you think you might need to um, do while you're still in high school? So you can do whatever job or career it is that you want to do. How do I get there? <coughs> Pardon me. And then finally, what do you think it will be like to do this every day? Well, I'm going to do this every day. 
I'm going to need to describe it. For me, it would be describing what it's like teaching children. Um, for you, if you wanted to be a doctor, maybe you're describing what it's like to see patients every day. If you want to be an athlete, maybe it's describing what it's like to go out and play that game every day and to practice every day. If you wanted to be, um, let's say you want to own a restaurant, what would it be like to go in and make the food and make sure your customers are happy every single day? If you want to be a mechanic, what do you think it would be like to go in and fix cars every single day or fix off-road vehicles every single day? Totally depends on what you want to do. But what do you think that would feel like? Again, each one of these things needs to be more than one sentence. You are looking for at least half a page. And I'm not talking write as big as you possibly can to fill the lines so it makes it look like you've written more than you have. Half a page to me is seven to ten sentences. Okay, seven to ten sentences. This is the smallest it can be. I do not want it to be any larger than one and a half pages. Okay, so if you get onto this topic and you're super excited about it and you just keep writing and writing and writing and you end up with a 10 page paper, you're gonna need to shrink that down some. So anywhere from a half a page to one and a half pages. No more than that. I need you to write it in your journal, and then you're going to make a video showing me what you've done, and then you're gonna take a picture with your camera on your phone, and you're gonna send me a nice, clear picture, because this is gonna go in your portfolio to go on to your fourth grade teacher, okay? So make sure your name is at the top, and the date. And today's date is 3-1-2021, okay? So your name and the date. Make sure those things get on there. And your prompt is also in Classic. So make sure that you read over it. If you have any questions, make sure you give me a holler.